Okay. Should be live now. Or mic should be on. I always wait a minute before turning the mic on just to give the stream, like, a minute to start up. Though I guess it doesn't matter because the stream itself starts quicker now. I don't know. Uh, hey, Nox. I didn't know if you saw my message or not. I was, uh... I was gonna be busy, and then I found out that I didn't have to rush what I was doing, so I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll just stream then. And then, uh, I had to use the bathroom, and that took, like, 20 minutes. Because I had chili tonight, and that's what happens when I eat chili. <laughs> you end up in the bathroom, and it's, uh, not always the most fun thing. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Just grab a sip of water first. So, let me get this out of the way first. This is going to be a shorter stream. I'm st I'm ending it at 10 still, because it's Thursday, and Thursday's Critical Role Day. Um, I'll try to not stream on Thursdays if I'm going to have to, like, end early. I'm just, I haven't been really, like, trying. Like, like a lot of my schedule's just been a huge mess, so... Oh shit, oh, there's a fucking person right there, god damn it. Okay, apparently they don't know to chase me out of door. But yeah, um, it's Thursday, critical rolls at 10pm Eastern, well around then, it's like, usually starts a couple minutes later. So, it's probably not gonna go much farther past 10. If I have to go a minute or two to like reach a safe spot, I will, but uh, next week I'll try to do a, like a Monday and a... a oh. The thing is, like, I'm, I, I got stuff I want to do Wednesdays and Fridays, so both of those streams might not happen, but I think after next week, Wednesdays will be free, so won't have to worry about it. Oh, okay, that guy doesn't move. Oh, wait, yes, he does. What the hell? Oh, okay, he turns there. That's why. Stun grenade, destroy the bowl. <laughs> uh, it certainly felt like I did. So last time we started, uh, we finished disc one. I killed Sniper Wolf. Otacon cried. I supposedly killed Liquid. And now I'm trying to infiltrate this base to find Metal Gear. Okay. Oh, there's nothing here. This I can't open this. Didn't hear anything. Uh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, I see. I could crawl against the wall. <laughs> or I could let go and immediately fall. Okay. That was cool. And my controller is, is bugging out. I don't, what the fuck? Why? Why are you doing that? Oh, come on. I don't know. I gotta figure out what's wrong and why this is happening. There's like a, a sever in the cord somewhere. Which is really upsetting me because I try to take very good care of this uh, controller. Come on, what? Oh, I see how this works. I can wait for this to go past me. Or not. Let's go that way. Otacon cried. Yeah, he did. I mean, that's the story of his life, but... He's a very empathetic and sympathetic character. Exactly, business as usual. <laughs> Speaking of people crying, oh man, did you watch, um... Oh shit, my phone's running low on battery. I, uh, uh this battery's been working great. So, uh, you know, I, I talked about how I replaced it 
the other day. It uh, it is working amazingly. I don't keep it in the charger. I charge it up to 100 and then take it out and just let it drain. And it lasts almost all day. It is incredible. And I am so glad I risked that battery explosion. <laughs> because having the, batter having the new battery in it is just so, so good. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? What is this guy, look at this guy bugging out. Oh, shit. Well, there goes that. Come on. It's never gonna go down because they're gonna keep seeing me. Shit. It would be nice if, like, killing them before... Ah, <sighs> uh, uh. Two... One... Alright, good, we got- we survived it. So yeah, battery works great. Uh, it lasts all day. And that was like, I stress tested it yesterday, I took it out, was on LTE for a couple hours, listened to YouTube while I was like, going shopping. And uh, it worked fine. You were saying something about crying, yeah, no, yeah, no, don't worry, I didn't forget. Um, if you didn't see, oh man, uh, if you didn't see it, last night's uh, stream that Vinny did, of the Link to the Past randomizer... I was fucking dying during that. I, I don't think I've laughed harder at a stream in, like, at least a year, if not more. So if you if you haven't watched that one yet, I would totally watch it. It'll probably go up tonight on YouTube, actually. Either tonight or tomorrow. I can't, I can't remember if they do one day or two days for his streams. Whoa, what? Okay. Uh, oh, big doors. Alright, did I miss anything here? Because I kind of just fucked around a bit. There's, like, stuff over there, but I don't know how to get it. Yes, so much salt yesterday. Oh, I can ride this up. Neat. But I don't need to. Let's just ride it back down. And that guard sees nothing, even though he hears the thing running. Oh, there's a security camera down there. Fuck that. It was amazing because you, you could watch him slowly losing his mind over the course of that stream. Because of that last damn Triforce piece. Alright, what the hell is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You almost never catch him live. I mean, that makes sense, because he streams, like, what, like, early mornings for you? Well, I mean, usually when you when I end, it's around, like, what, 5.30, 6 o'clock a.m. over there? And he starts when I end, usually, so that's like... So he's usually streaming, like, in the, yeah, early morning, like, over there. Uh, it looks... There's, like, something over here. Oh. What? Can I crawl under there? Yes, I can. This probably leads into the hidden area. Yep.
You know, to this day, I'm still surprised there's no salt emoji. Like, un like uniform emoji. It's really weird. Body armor. I can already tell that's going to be uh, useful. Because the body armor in the other two games was amazing. B armor. Bulletproof vest. Reduces damage upon impact. Arr. Like, I know I don't usually like to talk too extensively about other people's streams during my own, but... My god. It, it, he... It was so good. It, it was just... It was the funniest thing ever. Like, you... You could just tell. Like... Like, you could see exactly when he starts losing his mind. And how bad it gets towards the end of that run. Because it's, it's incredible. There, there was so much salt. Okay. The only exception you make is for charity streams. They're pretty good. Depends on, um, what they're doing for it. Oh, you can't. That's not even a path. Okay. To be honest, I kind of took a break from a lot of Vinny streams lately. Especially... Became more important to you than Christmas. Well, that's a very... That's... I mean, that's a great mindset to have. That you want... You care about charity that much. Everyone should feel that way, really. But yeah, I actually kind of like took a break from a lot of the a lot of the Vine Saw streams the last month because there wasn't a whole lot going on that I was too interested in, and I had other stuff happening. And like now with like Critical Role, it's like ah oh, Thursdays I just don't have I can't watch them. <laughs> Excuse me. Oof. That chili's coming up. Uh, that was pain in the ass to get through, so let's save. And yes, I still have not figured out how to actually do the saves proper. I don't think I ever will. I think this game is just kind of fucked with that. They're making, like, death screams. Oh, where's my friggin' uh, gun? Did it, like, unequip my gun between that scene? Did I lose all the ammo I just picked up, too? I think I did. Please tell me I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. I guess it counts that uh, elevator as being a separate room. Uh... Huh? Oh, okay. Hitboxes. Yeah, it unequips your gun. Shit. Why are these soldiers so hardy? Also, his body armor does not feel like it's doing much.
jamming. Great. So, we're going to have to rely heavily on first person mode. Oh, I could already hear. Are you kidding me? I was. Is it, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. It'd be nice if you could, like, aim for them. Actually, wait a minute, maybe I can. Yep, there we go. It's very interesting how there's only, like, one weapon, or one or two we Oh, I can also use the PSG. There's only, like, a couple weapons that allow, like, completely free aiming. Another one? Oh. Very nice. Uh. Can't believe I fell for that. Oh, and the mine detector is not going to do shit here because there's no map. And I forgot about that thing. Snack. Why are you so bad? Where is this fucking camera? Is there a way to, like, zoom out? No, there isn't. This is a one-way scope. Fuck it, we're just using the Nikitas, they're much easier. Or the sti- wait, what? There we go. Everything's way more trouble than it needs to be. Alright, what the hell? I didn't pick- oh, there it is. God damn, how is anyone supposed to, like, foresee that? That is brutal. A little ration. And now Snake's walking backwards. Oh, that sucks if you can't, uh, pick up a claymore. You, you leave it on the floor. Just to be safe. I don't want to risk there being a claymore on the friggin' lift. That's just gonna, like, wreck me. Gonna get attacked again? Are we? No, maybe not. Oh, god damn. Oh, crows, really? There they are. Wait, are they gonna attack me? Oh shit, wait, is it, or is Vulcan Raven gonna show up? 
Yeah, I think I know what's gonna happen here. Snake. Ah. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay, what's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It's all false. It was all a big lie. Yeah, of course, she was like stuttering the whole time. It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied. She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But, you better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja, too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. <sighs> Could it be? If I find no. anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Thanks, Kaz. Can I move? Hello? Hello? My controller was working a second ago. I I'm really getting annoyed at how often this controller is like desyncing now. There we go. A little chilly in here. C4. Nikita's. Nikita's and a ration. Hmm. Fuck. Cossack, this is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? I think Master Miller's full of shit. Eh, maybe he is. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? You must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. This, however, is giant freaking guns. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Whoa. Oh, that's right, Snake is a uh, half Japanese. Yes, you are right. 
but there is another <laughs> that I excel at. It is called the ear pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want Sounds like to pull you... each other's ears? <laughs> the form is different, but the spirit is Big boy. Big boy. Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there's iron in your words. I mean, he doesn't really have to prove it. Oh god, look at his range. Oof. All right. We need some hints here. Okay, so don't attack him from the front. That place is right in the middle of the permafrost. Just like the name says, it never melts. I've heard over 85% of Alaska is permafrost. Miller, why did why does your coda keep beeping in my ear? Your sea rations will freeze. One way to prevent your sea rations from freezing is to hold them close to your body by equipping them. All right, so equip my rations so they don't freeze and I can use them. The Vulcan Raven is half Native Alaskan American and half Inuit. He was raised as a shaman, and they say he has supernatural powers. During the Cold War, he trained in Russia with the Bimpel, the Soviet Special Forces. The Bimpel. In 1993, he was demoted by President Yeltsin following his coup d'état. So he fled the country and became a mercenary. After that, he joined those rental war bastards at Outer Heaven, Inc. He stayed there until he joined us in Foxhound, next to a strong recommendation from Revolver Ocelot. Ocelot. That cannon he's holding is a 20 millimeter Vulcan gun. You usually see them mounted on fighter planes. You can't take him on in a firefight. He'll make mincemeat of you. He's not just strong, Snake. He's a graduate emeritus from Alaska University, so he's a quick thinker, too. In any case, you'd better not try to attack him from the front. Super soldiers, got it. No match for his 20 millimeter Vulcan. Try to attack him from the sides or behind. Didn't Genghis Khan bone so many women that 1% of all people nowadays are in some very distant way related to him? Uh, that, there goes the common theory, or the common story behind that. I don't know if there's any truth to it. That room is still under construction because their main priority was to finish Metal Gear's underground base. But the good thing is, with all those containers, it should be easy to hide, right? So got it. Hide. Meryl? She around? Nope. She's still captured. Uh, Deep Door ain't helping me, right? Nope. But yeah, even though Snake himself is a clone of Big Boss, uh, his surrogate mother, or the person who carried him, uh, was Japanese. So he's technically half Japanese. Alright, uh, hmm. I can use Nikita's here, so... All right, don't use them in front of them. All right, neat. So we figured out how to, how to handle them. And I can use stingers on him as well. The only the only downside is that it's hard to see shit. It's hard to see where where I am on the map with the uh, Nikita because it doesn't follow the missile. Shit. Yeah, he's the heavy weapons guy.
Oh, what the fuck? Eva was a Chinese spy, wasn't she? Yes, she was. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, that's right. Wait, I'm, I'm confused now. All right, I have to look this up because something's not making sense here. Was Eva Chinese? I'm so confused now because I'm pretty sure they said... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look up the Metal Gear Wiki after this. <laughs> Get some answers here. Shit. I can also lay down bombs. All right, no, I gotta look it up now, because I'm pretty sure... God damn it, I'm so confused. I, I don't know how it works. I'm pretty sure that it was stated that Snake was Japanese, uh... Half Japanese, but I don't know, I can't remember. This is ridiculous. It's like impossible to keep up with them, though. I'm like actually just watching the uh, the map instead of the screen. Yeah, I don't think you could keep up with them normally. All right. I'm fucked. That thing does so much damage. And I'm out of rations, so... <laughs> Ugh, wish the thing was a little faster. And I couldn't even get up, I just get killed immediately. Good shit. Good shit.
Yep, 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 yep. What? Oh, God damn it, didn't... That's really annoying how the game, like, auto-unequips your weapon. go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. We'll do a little fancy loop around here. Nice. Now we're getting somewhere. There we go. Now we're feeling it. It's making a lot of shit drop. No, 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 stop shooting. Oh, come on. Oh, fucking, it couldn't slide, this couldn't eke through there a bit. Oh, this is getting hard now, because he's like on top of my shit. Fuck. Go. Oh, God damn it! I'm in this row. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Uh, we might be fucked. Why did there have to be a box there? Okay. Sorry, I got him. I was like, oh shit, no. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. God, he's moving way too quickly for me to track him now. Oh, 
Ah, oh, oh, shit, no. Ran out of time. That was that would suck too. I was right on his tail right there. All right, we're getting there. And of course that happens. Oh, no, 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 no. You, let me get up first. You can... Uh... actually worked. Ah, but then I took a hit. Yeah, this is, it's like reverse Pac-Man. I'm playing this ghost and I'm trying to get uh, Pac-Man. One more hit. Man, I only got five left. Nice. Self sacrificial takedown. Whew. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. When did I get quality options? Wait, I have quality options now? Well, that's good. Maybe they finally rolled it out for affiliates. That's good. Take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. But I killed him, didn't I? First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes was not the arms chief, or the DARPA chief, or whatever. Arms tech. I'm getting them confused. <laughs> that is the end of my hint. 
You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. So it was actually Decoy Octopus who died, and the DARPA chief was dead in that cell. There's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There's always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching you. And then he gets devoured by his own birds. Whoa, they, they didn't, they left nothing. They ate his bones. Snake, it's me. It's me, Master, Master Miller. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? <sighs> Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. <gasps> what? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Mm. Or she could be working with some different group altogether. This just sums up the whole series, succinctly. It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing. Have you got her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Whoops. Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Oof. So yeah, those those birds ate the entire body. They wasted no part of it. Some blood. Snake should, should take that snake. I mean, he wouldn't be able to carry that, but Jesus Christ. Imagine just mowing down everyone else with that. Oh, I see how this works. He, if you have um, if you have him shoot the boxes, all the shit will fall off them. But Master Miller's saying that because he's the real spy and he just tries to distract. Eh, who knows? Everyone in this game might be a spy. Snake might be a spy. Well, no, I mean, I'm pretty sure the, um, the implication is that those ravens are scavengers, so they, they won't kill anyone, they just eat what's already dead. That's what Vulcan Raven meant about, re like, returning what's unnecessary and, you know, all that crap, because they're already dead. There's no point to them, to their bodies being around, which is kind of weird because, it, which is kind of ironic, because the whole point of this 
uprising is that they want Big Boss's dead body. Chef grenade. Probably gonna need those. B armor. Let's do a quick save. They're ravens. They look the same almost. Eh. They're all the same family. Wow, look how many security cameras there are there. Whoops. And I'm dead. <laughs> now you can kind of see where they are, but not really. Wow. Oof. Oh my god. Alright. Holy shit. Snakes huskies for the spies, maybe. Who knows, maybe they have chips in them. Oh, you can actually see the battle vest on him when you put it on. That's neat. There it is. There's the big boy. God damn, really? Every fucking cutscene this is gonna happen now? This controller really annoys me. Oh, come on. I wasn't even close to that thing. Hitting the wrong button. Oh, you get in the water. Oh, it hurts though. Ow. Okay. Shit, 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 shit. Hurts a very minimal amount. I believe this is what'll give me a cold, though, if I stay in it too long. I know that's how it worked in Metal Gear 2. One key. I only got one of the three keys, and besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but... Yes, anime Wait. beep man. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? Oh, I'm such a nerd. I'll 
give it a try. I'm counting on you. Otacon voice, I'm in. I like how Snake climbs the ladder, holding the gun way out to the right. Hmm. <laughs> He's a nerd. He's a hacking nerd. Okay, there's another floor up there. Gettlemere. Stealth gear, metal gear. Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Going back to the quality controls for a second, and and my controller fucking broke again. God, why? Why does this have to be a thing? I took good care of this goddamn controller, and it doesn't work. I'm gonna like, try to see if I can find where the break in it is, but um, yeah, going back to those quality controls for a second. That's good, because that means now I can, um, now I can stream at a higher quality, as long as my laptop can handle it, and other people don't have to sacrifice, like, connection speed to watch it, because they could just lower the quality. But that's good. I'm glad that my stream has quality now. I don't know if that was just for affiliate, like, if they just rolled it out for affiliates, or if everyone has it now, but I'm, I'm glad I have it. I'm probably going to fuck with the stream settings before next time now. Though I guess it really doesn't matter for a game like this, because this is in, like, like 360... 360p? 240? I don't really know what the resolution of the PlayStation was. It's very linear, and that's worrying me. Dead end? Oh, there's people. There are people up here. Shit. Can I get him? I might be able to get him. Not oh, nice too far away. Oh, the fact that you have to get on the ground really kind of ruins the functionality. Yeah, no, I'm really glad I have those quality options now, because that was why my streams have always been in... Oh, here's another ladder. So my streams have always been in kind of like a low quality. Snake, I did it! You got past security? Bingo! Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about Top the pal over I secret. The Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake... I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It, it doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even... Pretty sneaky, bro. Literally. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. Sneaky snake. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? 
Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? Oh, man. If only, if only we had this incident happening now, right? of the exercise it looks like it went better than they hoped for but i can't find the data anywhere on this network you'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded it was president baker gave me an optical disc with all of the test data what do you still have it no ocelot took it from me Damn. the terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Can't they just write no nukes into the treaties? There's not much to misinterpret. Well... I think the idea is that they didn't think that there would be any other way to utilize that sort of weaponry aside from missiles, so they went out of their way to say that. Uh, it's... I don't know. Playing semantics is a very dangerous game, I'll say that. Also, if my... if it's... if stream delay is on my end because of frame drops, I will let you know. Because I could see how many frames I've dropped in real time on my, uh... on OBS. Like, right now, I've dropped 48 frames total, which is, like, nothing. That's that's about... I stream at 30 FPS, so that's one and a half seconds of the stream over the entire stream so far, which is over one hour. Can I walk on that? No, I can't. So you could tell that this is kind of like the calm before the storm, because it's a very linear path. You get stopped every few seconds for, like, a conversation... I don't know how much longer this game is. I thought this game was almost done, but... Or I, I thought I had, like, a while to go, because of the... I'm on only on disc 2. I only started disc 2, but... I don't know. I seem to recall this part of the game being, like, close to the end. It'd be so bad if I could just... A lone guard, and there's a camera over there, too. What? Really? Oh, come on, dude. Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? 
That's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this. I will say the later games do the stealth system way better than the, this game does. <laughs> this game still feels a little outdated. Yeah, and Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Uh, oh, that was the end already. I was taking the moment to clear out a message in my, uh, friggin... Whoops. Did you find the file for the override system? Just wait a little longer. I found out a lot about the arms industry, though. After the Cold War ended, the United States slashed its defense budget by more than 15%. Naturally, the arms industry was severely affected. It resulted in an orgy of mergers and acquisitions. Some of the big arms conglomerates today are made up of what 10 years ago... Adekan, I don't want to hear you say the word orgy ever again. Please. Arms tech is one of those. But we lost our bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jets. Then we took a stab at civilian applications. But that was a failure, too. The company was about to go belly up. Ironically, the Defense Department was in pretty much the same situation. Thanks to big budget cuts, they were forced to turn to the private sector to help fund their weapons development. On top of that, the government began to actively export their advanced weapons technology to the private sector in order to maintain a high standard of quality in the country's defense armaments. Eventually, they decided on a joint development project for new weapon systems between the DOD and the private sector. And since both sides were in such bad financial shape, that's where all the back scratching came in. So there was another reason for the joint development of Metal Gear, huh? It wasn't just President Baker trying to keep arms tech afloat. It's a sad state of affairs. I mean... Oh, come on, dude. Uh, oh, fuck. But yeah, I mean, like, if you saw me, or hashtag orgy of merges, god damn it. Oh, shit. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. Oof, look at, look at that blur. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? No, there's been a change. The new target is Lochnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. <laughs> Liquid. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What Our current president would do that no matter what, so it doesn't matter. The presidents. And with the CTBT, that means that China and India, I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own happy. system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars. Billion dollars. That to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the arms tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental. Experimental. Got all the bugs yet. 
In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the man's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What do you say? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Ally? Are you going to fight the whole world? <laughs> What's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place... Outer Heaven? Outer Heaven. Aw, oh, shit. Big Boss's dream. But, Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. When the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both... Dead. Oh, shit, they know he's right there. They know how the override system works? They know. Him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl. Meryl, she's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see the override system that the president was talking about. It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. Mm -hmm. If you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. Okay, so it's like an on and off switch. The keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah, you better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What? what? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. Oh, I think I know what I'm going to have to do here. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? Beep. I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Okay. Next to that goes the low temperature key. All right. right is the high temperature key. Okay. Okay, I got it. First, I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on Key snake. Who's that? Damn. 
course, Snake had to pull it out at that moment. Snake, this is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. They well, no, they. Ocelot's on Snake's side. They knew he was watching them. Snake, you've got to get that but the reason Ocelot was like, who is that, is to fool Snake. And of course, Snake pulls out the key at that moment. I can already tell what's going to happen, though. I have to go into the cold area to get the cold key. Then I have to go all the way back into that hot area where, where the steam was coming out of the pipes to get the hot key. Am I going the right way? Also, Lols, thank you for subscribing again. I always appreciate it. Also, yeah, oh no, not this again, exactly. It's it's exactly like Metal Gear 2. It's Metal Gear 2, only, only a lot less, uh... They spell it out for you in this game, as opposed to... Metal Gear 2, where it was like, oh, you have to figure out to take it into a low air, low temperature area on your own. Alright, so drainage ditch. Moss bullets. There it is, pal key. Emergency input or override device. So now I have to take it back because I have to use that one first, so. How am I supposed to do that with a big boss and or not big boss, but a liquid and ocelot in there? First comes the room temperature key. Put it into the far left terminal in the control room. That key is actually an IC card. Its connector pins and main body are made of a shape memory alloy. It's designed so that unless it's been changed to the correct shape, it won't be recognized by the PAL code input terminal in the control room, and the detonation code won't be entered. So yeah, I think this is pretty much what the rest of this game is going to be now. It's just going to be me going back and forth, doing this shit. Damn it, Snake, just grab onto the ladder. Why do you have to be, like, right on top of it? Okay, I'm sure they're going to be gone now. Miraculously. Oh my god, and look at all these cameras. This part is somewhat familiar to me. I never beat this game, but I made it past a little bit further than this point. 
Is there more after this? I feel like this is like the end of the game. But seriously, where's Ocelot and Liquid? Where do they go? Not for nothing, but they could make it so that the chaff grenade lasts past the cutscene, so I don't have to throw another one immediately. Whatever, though. Who cares? Nope, wrong weapon. We do not want to be ducked. This part's very tense, but I can also see it, like, I, I also could feel very annoyed by it. But since it's the first time I'm playing it, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm alright with it. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of a relief after all the boss, constant boss fights and, like, stealth sections. It's just kind of like this high, tense area where it's just like you're doing a lot of running back and forth. Exactly, Liquid and Ocelot were supposedly going to watch you perish from their bulletproof room, but they must have gotten bored or something. See, I would immediately have taken it as a red flag when I went up there, and they're not there anymore. I'd be like, oh, what's going on here? Why aren't they here anymore? I forgot about this room. Also, notice that we weren't jamming right there, even though we were jammed before. I guess we just wait until it changes. Keep these on. So I can't even go and oh house where you fought Raven, right? That place is right in the middle of the permafrost layer, and there's no heater either. Okay, but how do I actually make it change shape? You've got to lower that card key's temperature. Find some place cold. Thanks for the help. in the snow. Oh. Guessing this doesn't count.
Oh, yeah, it did. There we go. Changed. I'm a smart boy. I just gotta remember not to change it again. I remember getting confused as hell with using that key in Metal Gear 2 because they didn't tell me you needed to go into a cold area until like close to the end of the game. Or that it could change... Well, it was like you go in the sauna and it changes shape in there and I'm like, why did it change shape in here? What the hell? And I didn't think to realize that it was like heat and cold activated. At least in this game, they tell you what it does. I've never played this game. This is the first time I've ever played it. I've played uh, Metal Gear 1 and 2. I've played Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh, shit, really? Stay down. I've played 3, Portable Ops, Peace Walker, Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear 2... And, um, uh, Revengeance. This is the first time I'm playing MGS1. Played one, two, Snake Eater. Oops, shit. Every friggin' time. Snake Eater 4 and some of 5. You'll have played the Nintendo ones, but you're too young to remember. I was thinking about checking out the Nintendo ones. I mean, I know Metal Gear 1 is kind of the same on both systems. It's just Nintendo's is, like, not as good. I know Snake's Revenge is completely different, and I know Metal Gear Solid on the Game Boy Color is completely different. That's the one I'm most excited to try out at some point, the GBC MGS game. Just because it's like, it's like com completely different from this. You never heard of it? Well, it's called, in, in America, it's called Metal Gear Solid. The Game Boy Color one, but in I think in Europe it's just called Metal Gear Ghost Babble, which I don't know what the point of that means. I don't know what that word name means at all, but it's it's supposedly like the only reason it was called Metal Gear Solid in America is just for marketing reasons, but it's supposedly like a completely different game. And like kind of an alternate, it's not canon either, it's like an alternate universe. supposed to be making another game? Well, I mean, I'm, they're coming out with what, whatever it is. So, oh, sh uh, Fuck. <laughs> Oops. 
that is a, that is a good idea though. You know what? I have not done a save in a while. And again, if you're just joining me, I can't save normally. Something's not working right with trying to save, so I have to rely on save states. Not that it really matters, since the game checkpoints at every door anyway. I would never do it in the middle of, like, a cutscene or something, aside from, uh, during that, the Psycho Mantis part, just because there was a lot to go through again. Oh, there's actual people here now? What the fuck? Supposed to be making a different or a new Metal Gear, uh, but you don't know if it'll be the same. I mean, I don't know. It's it's very it's it would be very iffy. I'll say that. And honestly, with the whole like Metal Gear Survive thing happening, it just feels like it's very like. Capcom's kind of taking the piss out of the series right now, and they're doing this kind of just to... Because they know it'll sell, but at the same time, it'll know it'll spite Hideo. I, I don't know. I don't know if they give a shit about him at all. They clearly didn't when he was working there. I mean, Survive isn't... Survive's not a Metal Gear game. It's a survival base-building game. They're just using the Metal Gear 5, or Metal Gear Solid 5, like, aesthetic to promote it, like, to push the game. It does suck, and I feel like... I, I feel like it's Konami kind of, like, purposely being assholes about it, but pushing it anyway because they know people will play it. Oh, God, what now, Miller? Yes, actually. I just heard someone else mention it. Oh, there you go. That targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but what are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well... Apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. Hmm. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? Ah, oh, fuck. Nano machines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay. I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff. But we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. It, it, oh, it, it, it's the Death Note. Fox die. Yeah, but that actually caused heart attacks. This is just simulating them while just killing someone somehow. Wait. Better, better crawl here. I don't want to blow myself up. Fuck. 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 
I don't want to take all that damage. How could you start right here, too? If I get attacked going up this again, annoy the shit out of me. Can I get some more shit over here? Is there a ration? If there's a ration, I might, uh, I might eat it. So come bullet. Moss. place for a ration, but whatever. Are you in the boiler room? Those pipes are really old. Once in a while they blow out steam, so be careful. You call this once in a while. Ah, for fuck's sake. Oh my god! This is the beep room. Are you in the boiler room? Yeah, this game is all sorts of weird. With on, on this fucking emulator. Oh, they actually show you someone on the other side of the map there. Nope, that didn't do anything. Got hurt for nothing. There we go. That's a hot key. Alright, time to make our way all the way back. At least it's a, it's a lot less work than Metal Gear 2 trying to get through uh, the area just to get the cold key and then go back. Phone's about to die. It's at one percent battery, and I had this unplugged since like three a.m. last night, and the battery lasted till nine p.m. That is pretty ridiculous. I love it. Once the battery dies, I'll plug it in. So 
So the way chaff grenades work is that they explode, and I believe they throw up a load of aluminum. Those little sparkles you see are supposed to be like pieces of aluminum, I believe. And that's what jams all the radars. Or it might not be aluminum, fuck if I know. <laughs> Says true. Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification, but my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from, my, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s, a dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long, until I met my big brother, and him. Him? Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier, when he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Ah, oh, shit. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. Oh, and my phone died. I gotta plug it in. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who was he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. I mean, it makes sense since then Big Boss brought Frank, Frank to America. To continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. You still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Nope. Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox, no. Naomi, tell me something. I mean, you had his final battle with About you. Fox die? Metal Fox Gear 2. Die is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF-Epsilon. Huh? It's a 
type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Mm. Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. Why? No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Ah, oh, shit. He I told you that, to hey, didn't she? I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Yeah, but why? Okay, Snake. <laughs> What an asshole. What an asshole. Damn, I was hoping that uh, thing would be regenerated. The ration. It wasn't. however did so I will eat this one and take that one and my phone's turning on again good beep beep Oh yeah, I said that the speaker doesn't work on my phone the other day. It actually started working again the next day. So the speaker and the vibrations all work now. For whatever reason. So my phone is pretty much back to 100%. Despite literally exploding. Wait, I got the hot key, right? Where is it? How key? Alright, it's red. It's red. Actually, no, I need the chaff. Shit. This game's more than, like, another half hour, right? Or actually, not even... I'm gonna stop in, like, 20 minutes, so... Better hope we're in a good position there. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, <laughs> uh, Gray Fox wants one final battle with Snake. Meanwhile, he had one at the end of Metal Gear 2. He had another one a few hours ago. And now he's having another one in like another few minutes. Or I don't know. Maybe not. 
I actually don't know if you fight him again or not. You sure it's a battle? I don't know. This is a loading area. I'm gonna save. Or plea to end it for him. Yeah, I know. That's it. Well, I mean, I think he kind of wants to go out in battle. That's the whole point. Oh, it was a ruse. The detonation code was never entered in the first place. Snake entered it himself. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Miller, why? Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. Oh, well, too late the there. Codec link with Master was cut off, but Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to me, dear brother. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. Well, shit. Alakon, will help. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Yeah, I don't really have a minute. Come on, hurry up already. Hang on. I kind of don't even bother shooting you, because they're just like, yeah, we're going to suffocate you. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. 
D don't announce it. Just fucking do it. There's a rash in there now. <gasps> Who's that? Once that evasion goes down, I'm gonna do a save here. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of like you know, at this point, a lot of people know that know that twist, but it's still pretty cool, especially when you know now you have all those big boss games to kind of build up the context of who uh, Kazuhira Miller was and like his role in the series, and it's just like wow. He was such an important character in Peace Walker and uh, Phantom Pain, and they kind of just killed him off screen in uh, Metal Gear Solid 1. But yep, it was a ruse the whole time. Miller was dead long before this operation began. you more easily and you performed quite well I must say although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing what the hell are you talking about following orders blindly with no questions asked you've lost your warriors pride and become nothing more than a palm snake what stopping the nuclear launch rescuing the hostages it was all just a diversion diversion version the Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. What if there isn't a vaccine? Oh. There must be, but that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. That's a weird fate out there. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's program? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive gene. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? <laughs> That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? Well, I mean, you were also a pretty what? terrible kid. I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! <laughs> you should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Why do you want his body so badly? The work that father began, I will surpass him! I will destroy him! 
You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you. Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Hey, Snake never said he wasn't. Though I imagine he wasn't. Well, I mean, you've killed two other Metal Gears, and you did it by destroying the legs, so... Maybe just destroy the legs again? Uh, this is huge. This thing's big. No, he's using his liquid eyes. That round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a radome. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded. Yeah, try to hit that radome with a stinger missile. So that will stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. The part that looks <laughs> like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First I destroy the radome. That will force him to open up the pilot's seat. Right! If you can shoot a Stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. So Stingers. You intentionally designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. I like to think of it as a character flaw. People just aren't complete without some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. I owe you one, Otacon. <laughs> Sorry, I killed your girlfriend. Destroy Metal Gear. We're out of time. If you can't do it, I'll have to resort to my last option. Last option? We have a submarine prepared to deliver a full nuclear strike on the base. What the hell? It would be nice of you to tell me that ahead of time. It probably uses some kind of electronic targeting equipment similar to a tank. If you use chaff, you should be able to confuse it for a little while. So chaff grenades and stingers. Uh, but do I want to do this now? Because I have to stop in literally like nine minutes. This game's not going to be over in nine minutes, I know that. Uh-oh. All right, well, we got the health bar. Um, yeah, I think what I might do is actually save it here, which, again, I have to use quick saving because I can't use the friggin' actual saving. Because if I die, I'm going to start from the beginning of this battle. So instead of getting halfway through this battle and stopping because, you know, I'm not good at this game... Uh, maybe it's best if I just stop here and then pick this up probably Monday or Tuesday. Because I think that with the amount of game left, there's probably enough to fit at least another half a stream. And then I can move on to a different game afterwards. So. I know, this stream was shorter than usual. Again, I... 
was planning on doing a full three hours from 7 till 10, and then what happened was I thought I had to finish something else, and it turns out I didn't. I have I actually have another day to get it done, so I'm just going to pick it up tomorrow morning. In fact, I'm going to try my hardest to go to bed like as soon as uh, Critical Role is over, which is going to start in less than 10 minutes. So, uh, is there anyone I want to host right now? The answer is not really. There's no one really... No one's small, really, streaming right now. When I post someone manual, it's usually because it's a friend of mine or it's a small streamer who doesn't have a lot of viewers. And, you know, even if it's only, like, two viewers on my end, too, it's like every everyone helps. But, yeah, since this is, like, the climax of the game, I'd rather not push it now when I only have, like, less than ten minutes left to play. So, again, you know, do a second one just to be safe. So I'm going to end it here and let auto-host take over. I will be watching uh, Critical Role on Geek and Sundry in another 10 minutes, but uh, you guys can do whatever the hell you want. But as always, thank you for coming, thank you for contributing, I really appreciate it. You guys have a great evening, and I'll try not to skimp on the streams next week. Maybe I'll do, like, two earlier streams in the week. Also, speaking of, like, because again, I'm, I'm watching Critical Role, speaking of that, I'm gonna try to hopefully plan my own D&D campaign thing soon. It's not going to be every week, but I think when I do it, it's going to be on Mondays, and it's going to count as one of my streams for the week. So, we'll see. If you're not interested in it, don't worry about it. But, um, it's going to require some planning that I haven't done yet, and I have to get a lot of other stuff out of the way first. But I'll worry about that when the time comes. Anyway, you guys have a great evening. Thanks for staying up. Thanks for checking me out. And you have a great night. I'll see you next week.